y'all probably know who this man is, Joseph Coney. And y'all probably heard about a group called the Invisible Kids. Now this, y'all never thought that, y'all probably thinking, so why is that for Joe doing a video about this? That's the guy that did it and he made one million views on it. I'm doing this because the shit I've heard has really fucked me up. I'm always watching shows, Dateline, NBA, Dateline for uh, 2020, 48 hours. And there was a story that was on Dateline that really fucked me up is where they went to Africa. And they, it was several times they went to Africa talking about kids becoming soldiers in armies. Kids killing kids, kids doing this. And then I heard another story about how albino people getting killed for their body parts. Now this one takes it to a new level when I heard about what this man has done to, to kids. I never thought about, I never thought that it got that bad where this man, Joseph Coney, would kidnap kids out of their own homes. Stick a gun in a boy's hands. All the little boys, they can be from 7 years old to 14 to 18 or 19 and make them soldiers in his army and he'll take all the little girls and make them sex slaves and that's the fucked up part about these kids are killing their own people you're probably saying well they do it here too but they was forced into it the kids in Africa was forced into killing their parents, forced to kill their siblings, forced to kill. They said, well, they do that in other countries, not like this. You ain't never heard of a fucking Iraqi child killing their parents. You never do, because it never happens. But this has happened in Africa. And y'all motherfuckers, and people wonder why so many people from Africa come to this country because of stuff like this, because of shit like this. People like him would drive people from Africa, from Africa to you to the U.S. While the, while the U.S. government was sitting on their ass, didn't even know this was going on until the creator of Invisible Kids brought it to his attention. What do they do? We can't do nothing. So you don't give a damn if this man came to the U.S. This Joseph Coney came to the U.S. and pulled that stuff over here. Nobody never thought about it. Nobody's not even thinking about it. He already moved from Uganda to another part of Africa. Because he knows, he heard that they got soldiers, U.S. soldiers over there. He had to change his tactics. What if that man decides to say, screw this, I'm going to the U.S. and pull this. Think about it. He can go, he can go to the U.S., he can go to Europe, he can go to Spain, he can go to England, he can go to Ireland, he can go to Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan. He can, go, he can even go into Asia if he wanted to and pull this same stunt because the U.S. is bullshitting up on Capitol Hill. If you don't believe me that this man has been doing damage to kids and disfigurement, like fucking them up, now look at that. That's a child. That child got to be eight years old, eight or nine years old. That could be your child. That can be your son. That can be your daughter. That can be your ne ne your nephew, your niece, your cousin, your child. That can be one of your relatives sitting right there. Y'all take a good ass look at that picture. I hope this video reach Congress. I hope it reach Congress and let them see this part of this video where this man, this man, Joseph. Coney has did to this child. It could be Obama's kids. Think about it. I'm not threatening him. I'm not threatening Obama's kids, but it could be one of his kids. 
It could be your kid. They, his, one of his kids or anybody in the House of Congress or at the Capitol of U.S. kids because they let this man slip away because they don't want to do nothing. Oh, well, we'll cancel We'll cancel it if, 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 if nobody cares. Hold on. You telling me them people that didn't walk up the Capitol here and brought this shit to your attention didn't care? That should be good enough. Out of millions, millions of people, millions of people sit there and did videos on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, this shit all over the world. And you can sit there and say, well, if they don't care, we'll cancel it. Cancel my ass and let this man go go free so he can keep doing that to kids. Keep doing, let him keep doing that to kids. Can that be fucked up? One of them people in Congress kids come out like here yeah, because they let Joseph Coney let go free. Uh, y'all was y'all wasn't too busy, y'all wasn't too uh, too busy to go look for Obama, uh, Osama bin Laden, or Saddam Hussein, or ready to get Afadafi out of office. But y'all gonna sit there and bullshit? I let this man walk around in Africa killing kids. Then them kids join his, forcing kids to join his army, forcing little girls to be sex slaves. Oh, y'all was all ready for, for old Osama bin Laden and, and, and what's his name? Haddam Hussein. Oh, y'all, y'all was ready to get them too. Y'all was ready to get them too. I remember the U.S. was chasing them motherfuckers for years. But when it comes to this guy recruiting kids, forcing them to shoot their own parents to disfigure other people, I think they should care a little bit more. Because one thing is, it can happen here, and the U.S. won't even know it. It can, it can happen here, and people won't know it. Oh, well, actually, it does happen here, but the U.S. doesn't know it. What do you mean, Afro? What you mean? Oh, there's people. Like that coat down in Texas. What's the, 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 the damn dude that got arrested for having sex with kids? Twelve year old kids and had a sex something get them out pregnant? It, it's, it's, it's here, too, just like it is in Africa. They put guns in kids' hands in in the U.S. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing, but they put guns in the kids' hands. And they do that. But I, see, this is why we need to put the, this is why the, the government needs to get off their ass. Pay close attention on what's going on in the real world instead of bullshit and saying, well, we can't do it. It's not none of my business. It ain't our business. It's not our job. Well, if y'all could send money, if y'all could send food to North Korea, if y'all could send food to North Korea, if y'all could chase down, if y'all could, ch and y'all could chase down two motherfuckers over the last what, uh, twenty to thirty years. Why can't you do the same thing to this man? <laughs> Why can't they do this to, to the same man? Y'all probably think about it. They chased Osama bin Laden and Adam Hussein for years, but they won't chase this man. Why the hell did they even want to chase this man, but they wanted to chase Adam Hussein and, <laughs> and uh, bin Laden? Well, because of 9-11. 9-11 was an inside job, damn it. They had no damn... In Europe, sipping on they mind ties and shit, but they can't go find this man. This man sitting up there raping kids, putting kids in his arm, and making them kill people. So I'm stuck. It's like this I want people from Nashville, Tennessee, to Franklin, Tennessee, to Kentucky, to Knoxville, to Cookville, to Clarksville, to Jolton, to Louisville. Louisville, Kentucky, to Franklin, Kentucky, from North Carolina to South Carolina to Georgia to Mississippi to Alabama to Florida, and for everybody else to watch this and take a fucking stand so we can take this dude down.
because I would hate to see our kids look like that. Let's take him down before. T let's take him down before 2012 runs out. Take a stand. I'm. I'm on. I want to start my own operation. I want to call my operation uh, Wookie Rescue. I want to call it Wookie Rescue. I want you to show this video to everybody. Everybody, that this man needs to be taken down before another child has to end up looking like that or dead. The longer you sit there and bullshit, the closer your kids gonna end up looking like that. Y'all can sit there and brush it off. Y'all can sit there, I don't give a fuck. Why should I care? Because this man could, like I said, he can come to the U.S. and pull this shit. He can come to the U.S. and do that to your child. And you won't even, don't sit when he, if he does, if he comes to this country and he pulls that shit, he does that to your child, don't sit there and cry, Why did he do this? Why did he do this to my child? Because you were stupid enough to bullshit and act like you don't care. Instead of being a bitch sitting on your fat ass smoking a cigarette watching wrestling or the fucking View or Tonk or sitting up there watching all the Desperate Housewives franchises, y'all need to get your asses up and sit there and help kids out there in Africa and Uganda kids killing it's bad enough kids killing kids around here and the justice system don't care but what about the kids over there in Africa where they don't have a fighting chance them kids do not have a fighting chance and y'all sitting up there bougie and crying I don't think we should have him but the damn well you need to shut that shit up, leave that shit up. You need to shut your shit up. Because that could be your that could be your child, that could be your nephew, your nieces, your cousins. Because y'all don't want to sit there and not do nothing. I want y'all to show this video to everybody you know. I'm taking a stand. I'm gonna put the video of the of this guy that did the documentary Matt documentary, the Invisible Kids. I'll put it in the description box so y'all can go watch this movie. Now basically when you see more of them pictures of them kids, this figure like this, it'll break your fucking heart. Don't bullshit and say, I don't care. It's none of my business. And I don't think we should have nothing to do with this. <clears throat> then you're just plain stupid and you want your kids to be like that. And that's how it is. If you don't want to sit there and help, help the invisible kids then you want this man to kill your kids you want this man to and force them kids to join his arm and make your daughter be their sex slave I don't care then your kids gonna be just like them going through so much hell because you're stupid enough not to help and that's bad business that's bad business and I think we should come together and help out the invisible kids more than ever. So we can take down this man, Joseph Coney. We should take down this man because he needs to be taken down and prosecuted and everything else. Because this man is doing more shit than anybody ever thought in the U.S. And it's very sad. It's very sad to see this man. It's it's it's, it's fucked up. It's fucked up, man. I never thought in my life to hear stories like this. And it's fucked up, and people are sitting on their asses now. I wish you I give a damn. It ain't none of my motherfucking business. Like I said, motherfucker, you need to get your ass up and do something about it. You need your. If it ain't none of your business, then do something about it. Don't. Don't sit there and say, I'm just asking you this video. No, that shit's going to haunt you for the rest of your life. I want this picture to haunt you. I want that picture to sit in the back of your mind and haunt you in your fucking dreams. I want this, I, I want you to picture that, that's your child. I want you to think about that's your child or your grandchild or your nieces and nephews or your sons and daughters. I want y'all to think about that. That that could be your child. 
Let that shit burn into the back of your mind. Let that shit burn in the back of your mind. <coughs> Let's come together and unite. You take that Joseph Coney. Because one thing is, that's one thing we need to do. Is take them down. Because one thing is, them kids need lives too. Them kids need lives too. Cause like I said, half of the half of the uh, people from Africa leave Africa because of shit like that on a daily. They die every day because nobody won't help them. Europe won't help them. China won't help them. No other country will help them. But who will? The U.S. <laughs> well, not the whole U.S., but people. The people who would who wants to help so like I said man let's come together as one pass this video around to everybody you, you probably sitting there saying well you trying to get famous no I'm not trying to get famous I'm trying to show everybody that hey this is really happening this can be your child it, 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 it can be a brother up your block it can be that it can be Joseph Coney up the block it can be your next door neighbor it can be a school teacher he can be Somewhere in this damn state, and you won't even know because you're too damn lazy to get off your fat, lazy ass to do something about it. Let's stop him before he even hits this country. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. This, well, this has been been Afro Joe telling like it is. I'm gonna put the video link of the of the Invisible Kid movie in the, the description box. Pass this video along with Af uh pass the video along with everybody you show and and follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wood Kid subscribe to my channel it's CeeLo Jr. 2 CeeLo Jr. 3 and tell me what you think leave a good comment leave a comment if you like what you got to hear if you don't like what I got to say if you wanna bullshit and be a dick and a booty ass take that shit on some damn, somewhere else because if you be a hater, you just like this motherfucker. You just like this motherfucker if you gonna hate. Cause you want your kids to look like that. If you gonna hate. <laughs> and uh like I said, subscribe to my channel, see Lil Junior Two and see Lil Junior Three. Leave a video comment. I mean leave a video response if you got something to say. This has been Afro Joe. Coney 2012. Coney 2012. Let's support these. Let's support the invisible kids. Let's support them. Don't be a bitch and sit on your ass and don't do a damn thing. Get off your fat, lazy ass before your kids look like that. Your kids gonna look like it if you don't do nothing. Because you allow this man to do it. Like I said, pass this video around to everybody you know. Thank y'all. Peace. Thank y'all very much. Pass this video around to everybody. Peace.